this will make it our fifth studio guest. Yes, in indeed. The pandemic. And this is my little brother right here, man. It's good to have him in the studio with us, man. He's been doing a lot of big things, always representing H-Town, carrying it on his back. Dice Soho in the building. Yeah. What's the smell, baby? Or as my daughter calls him, Dicey. <laughs> 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 hey, nah, that is a nickname. <laughs> that is going down, man. What's been going on, bro? Man, it feels good to be back with the G and the Pet, man. Yeah, I've man. been grinding, man. You know, same old, same old in the studio, working, getting better. Rapping, spinning these bars, getting better and better, you know, um, in and out of the state, Houston, Los Angeles, um, just, I just really been just making music, man, just having fun with it. Man, man. I talked to you on 713 day, you said, man, I got something coming, I got something hot. I told you, man, I was coming, man, I've been cooking up for a minute, man, so now we're here. He been coming in and man, but you know what, I gotta check on my bro and see, man, cause you know, you can only see so much on right. social media. You can only see so much. Like we text each other, generally checking in, keeping updated with the projects, man. How how did you um do mentally when the pandemic kicked in? Because I know when it first kicked in, you was in L.A. So how did how would how were you and your family during that time? Well, you know, if you in L.A. <clears throat> at the age I was, <clears throat> stuff moves pretty fast for you, you know. And you know, me having my team there with me, you know, luckily they were able to keep me focused and balanced with all the stuff that was moving around there. But yeah, man, um, during the pandemic, you know, all my family out here in Houston, so it was a blessing to come back, you know, move at a, a, a certain pace, pace myself, start thinking more for myself, get that pencil up, that paper, and started doing my homework more like I was back in high school, so, Ooh, you know. Did you, make, did you feel like, man, the pandemic gonna set me back a, a couple of years, you know, did you start I, thinking I think, like that? No, nah, because nah, you know what? <clears throat> I came from Thailand and Bangkok during that pandemic also. That's wow. another thing. So I went to Thailand and Bangkok twice, and then the second time when I went, the pandemic came. That's when the real pandemic hit. So I had so much knowledge out there, man. In other words, I was just getting so much knowledge from people out there. So when I came back with it, I was just on some of the pandemic is to make all of us stronger and wiser and smarter. And that it did. That it did. And boy, it told, taught me how to be better with my damn money because I was sitting there like, yeah. whoo. I was like, <laughs> okay, I, I can see where I can cut back a little yeah. bit and, 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 and serve. And I seen some cats that I would tell that was always spending a lot of money. I was like, hey, man, you might not need to do it like that. I did that when I first got in the game and I had, I, you know, Pimp was broke for a minute because I was doing dumb stuff and <laughs> they didn't listen and they hit me uh, a month in from the pandemic. I was getting, bro, you predict, you said it. I said, hey, man, I'm saying, but you, you live and you learn. Now, them same guys, they're doing better with their money, man. So it was a big learning lesson up in the thing. Dice Soho in the building, man. Who, uh, um, you know, since you've been in the game, I know you've had the opportunity to you know, do a lot of things with a lot of artists, man. What, what's what's an artist that you got to work with that also gave you some good game? Yeah, that's a good question, man. I know so many good friends, man. I know so many good people, man. Uh, Travis Barker, you know, he's a rock star, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So not only on the music side, but on the on the instrument side, he 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 teaches he teaches me a lot, man. My ears always open. Wiz Khalifa is another big idol of mine that. Um, you know, we get to hang out and do some some workouts, boxing, not just smoking or, or chilling in the studio. We get to sit down and have writing sessions from time to time and, and hang out. I get to ask him questions or, you know, stuff like that, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. We, we, is, we, is, we, is, we is a straight up dude, man. I love we is. We is, you know, he keep it 100, man. Yeah. And he show love. You know to the you know who's next up and everything yeah man definitely yeah man he's a very very good person hard working person asap ferg also he always be giving me game we always stay in communication so man it's it's it's, it's so many people man i uh, that's why i always be in la man you know la i'm always able to just just hang out with people uh, outside of the music world you know the music game is it's, it's a tough a tough game so I'm always able to just have a clear mindset and, and talk to my, my homies, Tyler Yahweh, about just stuff that don't have nothing to do with music. And, you know, it just it just keeps us going. It, keep, it keeps the work going. Man, Dice Soho in the building, man. Let's talk about this new song you got, man, with Zero, man. Tell us all about it. How did this come about? Oh, uh, man. So the song was, uh, I did the song about three years ago. I put it in the stash. You know, Mike Dean and Zero go way back, like four flats on the yes, Cadillac. Yes, indeed. Mike Dean, the CEO, man. Shout out to Mike Dean. Um, I just, 
I just kept listening to the song over and over and over and over, you know. I always wanted to do something for Houston. I never really got the chance to really just uh, do some huge Houston stuff and give back to the city like I wanted to, but I felt like Zero being from Mo City, me being from Mo City, mm -hmm. Mike Dean loves Zero. Um, I just felt like it was it was perfect time. I had emailed it to Zero, and he sent me a message on Instagram saying like, yo, I, I love this song, it's jamming. You know, me, I'm scratching my head like, okay, wow, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. sure, thank you, but okay, shit, what's next? You know, you know, as an artist, I had to do my groundwork. I'm thankful for my manager, F.A., you know, my whole entourage, Icy Life. We always keep each other balanced and like, yo, we have to do this to make this happen. Yeah. This is all dream chasing. This is... This is real work. This ain't just a nine to five. This a nine to five on steroids. So you know, we just kept running into zero. And and one morning he texts me at six a.m. Yo, pull up to my house. Pull up to his mansion. I end up. I end up. I end up engineering the whole session. I recorded his verse, and you know it was just a blessing. It was just tight to record him at seven a.m. Man, upstairs in his studio, and he was just loving the song. He's like, man, I love this song so much. He was just bragging and bragging about it and it was just like mind blowing to me man so what we're gonna do we're gonna take a small pause we're gonna come back after we come out the commercial break we're gonna debut the brand new one from dice soho featuring zeros so keep it locked right here g and the pimp baby that'll be